Alright, so I want to go ahead and show you the ports on the side of the MacBook Pro. And starting from left to right, we've got the uh, MagSafe power connector. This is the Gigabit Ethernet port. We have here a FireWire 800 drive. I hook up my 2 terabyte external drive for backup, time machine. And then we have uh, the mini display port slash Thunderbolt port. We'll talk about that in just a second. We have two USB 2.0 ports. I wish they were 3.0 uh, because this Thunderbolt port is not going to be that useful until accessories come out. And then we have here an SD card slot. It's SDH, uh, XC compatible, so it can uh, do some pretty fast uh, SD cards and high volume cards. And then we've got the two uh, audio ports for line out and uh, line in. They also work as a mic in and uh, a headphone in port. Now about this Thunderbolt port. Thunderbolt is a technology that's in waiting. Uh, we don't have any accessories available. There's no way for us to test it yet. Uh, Apple is promising that it will work uh, up to 10 gigabytes per second. It's uh, something that Intel and Apple introduced about the same time. It came out on the MacBook Pro. We're excited about it. We look forward to being able to test it out, get some uh, accessories in. Uh, you can daisy chain some accessories. So you could plug in a uh, hard drive, and then the port on the hard drive, you could plug a monitor into that. And then if there's a port on the monitor, you could plug another hard drive in. And then if that hard drive has a port on it, you could plug in, say, maybe a uh, 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 a docking connector where that has like USB ports and Ethernet and all that kind of stuff. So it's possible that you could plug in one cable and have 6, 8, 10, 12 devices all working, all lit up at the same time. So that's pretty exciting. And we hope that that'll something be something that will show up real soon. Now just to show you on the back, there are no ports. We just have the fan vent. On the side here you've got for the uh, Super Drive, which is a DVD CD burner, and it works well, it's fast. And then, of course, we have the Kensington lock over here on the front. You have this little area here which allows you to open up the computer. You have the power indicator light while it's sort of throbbing like that, it means it's asleep. And then, of course, right here is the sensor for the infrared sensor for a remote if you get a remote with it. 